let's talk about the Video Maker feature, where you can use logo, background music, animated business card, aspect ratio, and closed captions to make your video pop. In this video, I'll give an overview of Video Maker, Big View's interface for starting with a raw video take and applying captions and styling options for the final video. On my projects page, a script icon indicates a project with one or more takes, which hasn't yet been made into a video. This could be a take I've imported or one that I've recorded with a teleprompter. A movie icon indicates that the video has gone through Video Maker, but I could still make style changes. I'll start with this project, click to open it, and there is one take. Clicking the style icon, or clicking the three dot icon and choosing style your video, displays several quick style options, including aspect ratio, theme, audio, logo, and outro. I could make changes here and click make video, but I'll discard changes to show the more robust video maker options. This time I'll click the three dot icon and choose open in video maker. If the take already has captions, I would go straight to Video Maker. This take doesn't have captions yet, and many Video Maker features involve captions, so I'll select my language and let Big View add automatic captions, which, after a few moments, appear in the Close Captions tab. I'll be able to make edits to captions in Video Maker, and I can also open Video Maker right from here. Now let's check out the Video Maker UI. The Presenter section is on the right with a captioned breakdown of the video into scenes of a few seconds each. With automatic captions, as opposed to captions from a script, you may want to make some minor edits, move words around, or add punctuation, which can all be done in the presenter. Each scene has a three-dot icon, which has options to combine scenes by merging the current one with the previous or next scene. If a scene is too long, with more than two lines of captions, I can split it into two, edit the duration of either scene to match where I want a break in the captions, and move captions into the right scene. I can also select specific words and apply a highlight or extra highlight, and the appearance of these words will depend on the video theme, which we'll see in a bit. Below the video itself, I can add a logo to the current scene or to all scenes and adjust the logo size. I'll demonstrate zoom effects a bit farther on. On the left, we have the style options that we saw before with a higher level of detail. The first styling option is aspect ratio, and if I switch to square, say for Instagram, I can also specify a crop. I can also add an intro or outro from an animated business card or video, and change the theme, which controls caption colors and background, as well as the appearance of highlighted and extra highlighted captions. The last styling option is to add background music, and I can adjust the balance between presenter and music. The library contains a set of Big View provided images, and Uploads has images and videos that I've uploaded to my account. Any image can be dragged into a scene, which will overlay on top of the original video during that scene while still showing captions. Videos can be overlaid into a scene the same way. Tweets can also be added to a scene. I'll search for a keyword or two and drag a tweet onto a scene. And if I want to add an image that's not in the library or uploads, I can look for something on Pixabay, a site for royalty-free images. As before, I'll search for a keyword and drag in an image. The zoom effect is automatically added to scenes where I've added an image, video, or tweet. I'll play the scene to show that the image grows larger during the scene, and I can remove the zoom if I want. To remove media from any scene, I can click the scene's three-dot icon and choose the Remove option. The Undo and Redo options are available across the top, and when my scenes are set up how I want, I'll click Create to produce the final video. Back in my projects, I can also change styling properties to videos that were already created. I'll click the three dot icon for this video and choose Edit, which opens Video Maker. 
I can make any changes I want and click Create to update the video. With Video Maker in Big View, the only limit is your own creativity.